Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. We are talking about the reflection of the light at a plane surface or a plane mirror. So, let us consider a plane mirror something like this and let this is an incident light. You know this point is called something like point of incidence and if you draw a perpendicular line that is called normal. Now, I want to resolve this incident light into components because it is neither in between x axis and y axis. It can definitely have some components. I can say this is x component or a horizontal component. I can say this is the vertical component and you might have noticed the direction of the components as the original vector the incident light this is the incident light that we are considering is coming towards the origin the components are also coming towards the origin i can show because it is along the x axis with i i cap it's along the y axis with something like a j cap now that is the of course this angle is called angle of incidence that is all is there very much there now the light ray reflects back into the same medium this light ray is called something like reflected light I want to resolve this reflected light also into components see this is horizontal component and this is the vertical component you might have noticed as this reflected light ray is moving away from the origin this point or this point the components also shall move away from the origin. So, this is again horizontal to x axis i component it is uh, along the z axis therefore it is y component shown with a j direction or a j cap. So, what you can uh, clearly notice here in this uh, diagram is look at this i cap here i cap is like this incident light even the reflected light also i cap is like this. So, what I can say is the component of the light the component of light whether it is the incident light or a reflected light which is parallel to the boundary this is what I mean by boundary separating the two media or else a mirror parallel to the boundary keeps its direction same its direction is not changing keeps its direction same look at the other components look at the other components this is the other component you can say the incident light direction is something like j whereas the reflected light direction is something like j they are opposite in direction therefore what we can say the perpendicular component of perpendicular component of both incident and reflected uh, light rays incident ray they are not in the same direction they are in the opposite direction is opposite to or else in reverse to the perpendicular component of perpendicular component of reflected light so reflected light ray so, if I have to show the incident light in the format of an actor, I can say it is going away from the origin I component and J component is coming towards the origin. Whereas, the reflected light again this I is also going away from the origin, but the J is also going away from the origin. Therefore, the direction of the J, the Y components got reversed their directions. That's the point that I that I would like to communicate here. Why components reverse their direction? Reverse their directions. Right? Thank you. We'll be continuing this discussion further.